Hey, everyone. Let's uh, talk about those vocabulary words that might have been a little difficult for you when you read the ferret cloning article. Hope you like that article. I thought that was uh, pretty interesting and a good way to get some English into our life. So um, the first word we have here is precisely, precisely. And that's another way to say exactly. So there are precisely 542 students at AMS. I don't know if that's true or not, but if that was the exact number, I could say that was precise, that's exact. Another way uh, to say you don't know the exact number is you can say approximately. So they're, they're close, approximately means, I don't know the exact number, but it's somewhere around there. Precisely, you do know the exact number. So maybe for like coronavirus cases in the state of Maine, I mean, I know that they will come out with a precise number. If you see in the daily news, there were 242 new cases of coronavirus case cases today. But at best, that's approximate because there are a lot of people that are walking around who are asymptomatic. They're not showing symptoms. So precise. It's sometimes hard to get precise numbers, but when you all go over to EL, you'll probably be getting a brand new school. The people who are building that school, they want really precise measurements because if not, that building's probably not going to stand for too long. Precisely, precisely. Replica is the next one. Replica. We're going to be talking about identical in a little bit, but a replica means a copy, as you can see right there. So it's a copy, especially one on a smaller scale. So if you look at that picture there of that police car, there's one that's, might, we might say, average size. And then we would say that one is smaller. But it's a replica because on a scale, it's the exact same. Like maybe uh, sometimes you'll see like 1 64th scale. So they just took something and smushed it down. 64 times less than the original. Now they're not identical. We're going to be talking about identical in a little bit, identical, but they are identical except for size, possibly replica. Sometimes replicas can be the same exact size. Like if you have a favorite sports team, let's say Tom Brady, is everybody a Tom Brady fan in here? Let's say Tom Brady and you can't get his actual helmet. But you can get a replica. So everything about it is the same. You know, maybe to make it a little cheaper, the material isn't quite the same. But to look at, it, it looks pretty close. I mean, it might be identical. We should probably talk about identical. But identical, it means the exact same. But a replica, maybe it looks the same, but different material was used. Maybe it's a little smaller. But replica. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know. We can talk. The next one is dwindling. Dwindling. And the definition for that is becoming gradually less. So, coronavirus cases. We're talking a lot about the coronavirus, aren't we? Uh, coronavirus cases. Luckily, those are dwindling. They're getting fewer and fewer each day. They're becoming less. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the snow out there right now, it's dwindling. And I'm a person who really likes summer, so I'm happy with that. I hope you are. I like to see the snow dwindling outside. The number of days before February, before summer vacation, it's dwindling, it's becoming less, dwindling. Hope that makes sense. Now, the next one we've kind of already talked about. It's identical. So if you look at the picture of those twins, and you don't actually have to say those two twins because when you say twins, it just implies that there are two. 
But I sometimes say that, oh, look at those two twins. Well, twins, they're always just two. Triplets, you know, are three. So those twins are identical. So let's go back to the Tom Brady helmet. If it's identical, maybe he didn't wear it, but if it is identical, it's the same size, it's made from the same material, the same. Twins, remember, they can be identical or they might not be. So I think it's maternal twins. Don't quote me on this. I think maternal, that comes from the mother, mother, maternal. Maternal twins, I believe, are exactly alike. Fraternal twins. Is it fraternal or paternal twins? Fraternal twins. That comes from brother. If you ever hear of like fraternity, that's a brotherhood. If you ever hear of sorority, that's sister. Paternal, paternity test, paternal, that's father. Maternal and fraternal. I think it's maternal and fraternal twins. Hmm. One of those sets, they're identical. The other one, they just, you know, shared DNA and stuff, but they're not exactly identical. So they can be of, you know, different genders and stuff like that. Identical. Identical. The next one is womb. Look at the way that's spelled. Womb. The B is just about silent on that thing. Womb. In fact, it might be totally silent. But this isn't health class, so we're not going to get into a lot of detail. But that is the place in the mother, from the other, of the mother's body where the baby develops. The womb. Yeah, for uh, humans, it's about nine months, right? For ferrets, I bet it's you. Not always, but usually the smaller the animal the quicker the incubation period that's the the time it takes to go from like a little a little embryo to a little fetus to like a, a baby that we all know yeah you don't usually uh, no i don't even want to think but um on the uh picture there is i mean i would think i don't know i'm not a scientist remember i have had two babies but I didn't see them a lot. I think that would be called a, a fetus, wouldn't it? That 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 looks about, I don't know if I can make that a little bigger, but uh, it's a pretty small thing. But I think that's a fetus. Embryo is a little smaller. And then you got your baby that's a little bit bigger. All right, surrogate. Surrogate. So this is a substitute person who acts for another. And in the article, they talk about surrogate moms. So I actually know a couple of women who have done this. They've become surrogate mothers. So the DNA is, is not their own, but they will develop a baby in their womb, not their own baby, but they will do all the right things like, you know, attend doctor's appointments, eat healthy so that the baby can come out as healthy as possible. But then immediately the surrogate mother gives that baby over to the parents whose DNA made that baby. So oftentimes couples who cannot have a baby on their own or for whatever reason, they can use their own DNA, have, you know, make the baby, I guess. And then it will be implanted into a surrogate mother. And one woman I know, uh, I think she made quite a bit of money doing that. You know, it is a process. Like it is a job to have a baby. It's, it's tough work. You know, and the baby just depletes all of your resources. Oftentimes, mothers will be very tired when they are developing that little baby in their womb. So I think she got paid like $30,000. And this was maybe 15 years ago or so. So a surrogate mom. Uh, obviously, your body, you, know, you can't do that very often. I, do, I think she did it twice, though. I don't think she did it three times, but. Uh, it, it does take quite a toll on your body. Controversial. How many more we got left here? We only have three left? Okay. Controversial. Anytime I think controversial, I think politics and I think religion. If something is controversial, there will be a lot of different opinions on this subject and not everyone agrees. So cloning in the article, that's very controversial. Some people think this could be a great thing for our species. It might help develop ways to treat cancer in the future 
ways to prevent deformities. We're going to talk about that next. But others think that cloning might actually create deformities. So controversial. It's hard. Like anytime you get a group of people together, talk politics, talk religion, probably not going to turn out well. Unless it's a group of all like Republicans or a group of all Democrats or people of the same religion. But yeah, usually in mixed company, those two topics can be pretty controversial. Best to probably stay away from them, them unless you want to have an argument. All right, the next one is deformities. And you can see parts of the body formed differently from normal. And I put normal in quotes there because you know, it's so hard to describe things that are normal. But normally, on average, people have two eyes, right? For the, for the most part. For the most part. I mean, some have one. Uh, it, it would be rare. I'm sure it's happened before. Uh, if somebody was born with a third eye. I don't, I don't know if that's possible. But that would be a, an example of a deformity. So in the article, some people were concerned because something fell out there. Uh, because cloning might cause deformities in species. So that's why it's controversial. Some people think this is a good thing. Other people think, whoa, you're messing around with too many things. Some of these animals being cloned might develop deformities. And some people say, don't even think about cloning a human. Oh. We'll see. And I think this is the last one here. Sure is. It's unique. Unique. And take a look at uh, right here. One of a kind. Unique. Uni. One of a kind. So in theory, we're all unique. You know, there's nobody exactly like us. Even identical twins, they may look identical, but they have their own personalities. So they're unique. You know, their voices might be slightly different. I've heard that before. You know, they might change their hairstyle, something like that. But they're all unique. I mean, they're unique because of their personality. So, and I guess we're all unique, right? Nobody is exactly like us in the world. We're all individual snowflakes, one of a kind. But every time you see uni in English, I do want you to, to know that that means one. So one very common, um, you know, this would not be a deformity. This is just something different, uh, is a unibrow. Some people have like hair growing, you know, in between their two brows. So they don't have two eyebrows. They have one eyebrow. We would call that unibrow, unibrow. But think about uniforms. Most of the time, uh, somebody getting a job for the first time, you know, you all will be working very soon, probably two, three years, maybe four years. And it's a good chance that you'll be going to work in a uniform. Everybody is dressed the same. One way to dress for your job, uniform. Um, there, there are a lot of, like a unicycle, a unicycle has one wheel. I don't know if you can ride a unicycle or not, but one wheel, bicycle, by, two, tricycle, three, tri. And there's not really a quad would be four, a quad cycle. But there are, you know, there are quads, it's four wheelers, you might just call them quads. All right, I hope this has been helpful. What are we at? 14 minutes of deep dives into this list of vocabulary. All right, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching till the end.